society, which is where it gets very interesting, right? Because can you imagine some sort of uh, civilization that got successful enough to get some stuff, uh, get some stuff on the nearest natural satellite, Earth's moon? And then they shat the bed because that sounds like <laughs> classic earthling to me. Uh, so he can, they, they like got all the way up there. And then, okay. So the idea is that you would see certain things left in the record, right? Um, it's called the people are calling this current phase or fad of Earth's life the Anthropocene, the age of, of the human, because uh, scientists are pretty confident that. Quite a while from now, someone, some entity, maybe another mixtape version of people will be able to look back and they'll say, oh, wow, th there was this one species that did a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Deposits of, uh, <clears throat> deposits of biomass are different, right? There might be some nuclear stuff still kicking around. Uh, so there would maybe be a way to find this stuff, but it really goes back to... You know, the idea, I love what you're pointing out, Dan, the idea that Earth kind of eats of itself and sheds its own skin. Uh, what that means then, the interesting part, the part that made me think of you guys, is that it is completely possible, not plausible, but possible, uh, that another civilization came and went, and we wouldn't know squat about it. Right. I mean, because what? Because we really only have records of humanity for what, like six thousand years, and now we found like Gobekli Tepe, and these, so like ten thousand, eleven thousand years, and then before that was an ice age when sea levels were what five hundred feet lower and covered most of the northern hemisphere. <laughs> like, so and humans are what they, they originally said. I think when I was in, I, when I was in high school, it was like, oh, it's only two hundred thousand years. We've only been Homo sapiens for two hundred. Then they pushed it back and back. And back. Yeah. So what, what are they saying now? Well, right now, and, and this is weird because there are still new discoveries being made. Right now, uh, most experts agree sometime around 300,000 years ago, what I like to call homie sapiens hit the stage. Homie you know? sapiens? <laughs> yeah, homie sapiens. I like homie that. Homie sapiens. <laughs> homie sapiens. Uh, yeah. they, they hit the stage. Uh, and those folks were not quite the kind of folks you would encounter today right you could see them and even if they were dressed up just like the caveman lawyer and Saturday kind of looks Live. similar to Braden I don't, right know, I don't know if you walk <laughs> you walk into yeah. some rural or some rural Walmarts you might, you might run into some pretty pretty accurate some, analogs some suspects in there hey we're all related though the thing is they, <laughs> we all came uh, from the there the thing is the ones that um, the average, the ones you would recognize as more behaviorally modern, right? Those right. don't come around until just seventy or fifty thousand years ago. So there's something. It's it's another weird thing. So for two hundred fifty thousand years, something like that ballpark, there were these people who kind of looked like they were anatomically you know very similar physically very similar um, modern humans today could interbreed with this homo sapien right and this is the age of the great human mixtape so we got the Sylvans, we got neanderthals we got real life hobbits out there mm -hmm. in the florensis yeah yeah and there's like one or, there's one or two mystery yeah, species one. still out there like still we actually have two, the we have two mo we have two we got two descendants of the this, hobbits here unfortunately yeah, on this podcast actually oh what you I believe if you're, the test, huh? if you're under yeah. five foot seven and three quarters, you can be classified as a descendant of uh, Homo florensis. Well, I'm five foot seven and three quarters. I'm good. Oh, five, five, foot five, five foot seven and seven eighths. You're out. <laughs> so, you're back. So Doesn't this, count if you're wearing shoes, though. <laughs> oh no! Wait. What kind of shoes? <laughs> Ben's got heels on. <laughs> so, so there you go. I mean, you you would see that human beings. We can go back and forth about what the what defines modern human beings stroll onto stage pretty late in the game, right? And evolution is sort of a brute force hack, so of course it takes a while. But uh, but I think it's cool and it's fair to question. You know, what about those other millions and millions and millions of years? 
what what was it like? Was this just a, a nice, quiet neighborhood before we started, you know, chugging Red Bulls <laughs> and, like, making reality TV? Well, yeah, right. and, like, comparing yeah. it to the, the – when she said the brute force hack, it's like when human – and you know, the the concept of intelligence comes into it. It's like we kind of got the, the cheat codes almost, you could say, mm-hmm. I think, in, in some sense, that it's like we've, we've developed so quickly – in such a in such a short span of time that it's it's yeah that, that this theory there there are parts of it that do make a lot of sense that'd be like you could have what is it they they found uh they found out or they pushed back the time when they they found that that the humans have controlled fire like that was the fire. that was the yes, big just thing happened. that just happened yeah. that they pushed back, the back hundreds of thousands of years was it like a hundred thousand years or something like that when they I think it went back to like a million years or something like way when, back when humans not exactly us but like another uh it was not homo sapiens but i think it's it, was a it totally, wasn't you dan no no it wasn't me yeah if that anybody be Zell, he's the one. He's that was even not. Longer. That was even before me. Before <laughs> um, yeah, and they put back the day that we had, uh, you know, uh, somewhat command of fire, and that if you could have a civilized, even that, but that's still, like you said, it's still. I always, I always remember the thing from. The, what's it? I can't remember if it's like from the eyewitness videos or something. I used to watch. But it's like if you took a, if you took the book of life on Earth, you would have. Uh, you'd One have page. like huge pages and like the like the humans would you'd have this entire volume of thousands and thousands and thousands of pages and humans would come in on like the last half of the last page yeah, that's, that's nothing weird. that's, that's weird. the best that's part though that's when everything gets tied together <laughs> yeah <laughs> with the denouement but the, like, the, the idea too hot to handle starts oh yes yes <laughs> we're when the beat drops really yeah, yeah, uh, go. so good luck all the other life forms uh <laughs> thanks for setting it up keeping the seat warm but uh yeah this is so this helps us explore this question this hypothesis um knowing that in a relatively brief span of time humanity has made these um long-term marks on on the planet right uh that in such a way that it is possible that those consequences will fundamentally change what we understand about humanity. Is it possible that humans could wipe themselves out? And then is it possible as part of a pattern? You know, mm. what if this is not the first J curve of expansion using the uh, cheat code of intelligence, which people That's, still can't define? I was kind of thinking about that too today because I was thinking when I was trying to really kind of put my brain to it not a lot of power going not a lot of behind there but Uh, i was thinking that you know like if we were all to drop dead right now all the humans just extinct like how long would our structures last how long would Mm. before nature would take back over right and a lot of these structures that we had would be would be gone like what would be left right You, you know metals plastics right like ruins some roadways like what would a future civilization be able to look back at what we have right now to see that it was us and they'd have to fucking know what they were looking for right because it's like you see a steel girder do you go like oh someone must have fucking made that for sure or do you go like that must be a natural occurring steel girder right if you have no if you have no like reference, no reference. Frame of reference, like how hard would it be for a future civilization to even spot our technology? Dude, we don't even have to look back that far, right? Because just in the last handful of years, the LIDAR scans of like the Mayan Empire, before they only found a couple pyramids, there was Chichen Itza and a few others. And now they scan like, uh, like southern Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, and they find that there's actually probably a civilization that could house a million to like 10 million people. They, had, they found the foundations of all the buildings and the runways and the causeways, all overgrown in a handful of hundreds of years. So if you Very extract quickly. that up, ten, like ten, even 10 times more, we probably wouldn't find it because it'd be buried under soil. Like it would all, all the leaves and roots would degrade and just build up and we'd probably never find it. So I'm so glad you mentioned LIDAR. Yeah. It changed, it changed the game. It was, um, it's fascinating. And as it becomes, as the economy scale kicks in and it's easier and easier for, um, very brilliant, but often cash strapped 
uh, academic pers uh, academic initiatives to search. I, I think the com we're just going to learn more, right? More because more. Faulkner's right when he says the past isn't over. It's not even past yet. They just, they just tag. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.